I was really looking forward to Charlie and the Angel, not just because I like watching Disney films in general, but I really love films where angels come down to earth and they help guide the protagonist. There are many films like this and there are certain things that I look for, certain things that I hope for, and I'm really pleased to say that Charlie and the Angel really delivered. This was released in 1973, directed by Vincent McGevity. It stars Fred McMurray as Charlie. We also have Harry Morgan as the angel. And Charlie is a likeable character, but he's very focused on his work and he kind of neglects his family. And this angel comes down to earth and says, look, your time is running out. You really need to start doing the right thing, spending time with your family, being there for them. Basically saying life is too short to spend every day at work. And I, I will say the one thing that I found maybe the least appealing about this film is that Charlie was very quick to accept that this is his angel, this is what's happening. Usually with these kind of films, there's a much greater period of denial where the character maybe thinks they're hallucinating or they're over, well, they are overworked, but they're, you know, not thinking clearly. I feel like Charlie accepted things a little too quickly. But at the same time, the pacing for the rest of the film was great, so I didn't mind that we very quickly moved along. I didn't mind it too much. Uh, and he does. He starts to try and make amends. He, it's, it's quite a lot of different things he tries, which I guess is something else that's quite unbelievable about the film, if I had to nitpick, because it generally is really good. But he starts to say grace all of a sudden, and I feel like when it comes to changing your life, that's one of the things that you wouldn't immediately start to change. Um, I feel like it would be bigger things first, like being there with your family. But, you know, credit to, credit to Charlie where it's, where it's due. He did try all of these things. And it's quite delightful watching him flourish. And that's not all. We actually get... Um, it becomes quite action-packed in the final third of the film. I can't say why exactly, but it becomes uh, quite intense. And it also involves Charlie's two sons, who I think are just absolutely fabulous. Uh, we have Rupert and Willie, played by Scott C. Cold and Vincent Van Patten, and I just, I loved them as characters. I thought they were absolutely delightful to watch. They definitely helped to provide this obviously young, childlike quality. One of my favourite scenes in the whole thing uh, was when they were making a kite. It's quite early on in the beginning, but they were listening to the wireless and it was giving instructions for how to make a kite. And it, it just kind of made me think that's what it must have been like when you couldn't, you know, pause or even record things. You When you were getting your instructions on the radio, you either had to write it down, which, to be fair, would have been more sensible, or do things in real time. And it just, you know, I just thought it was uh, rather entertaining from a 21st century perspective. Uh, but very, very well done. And I thought the kids were brilliant. Um great performances as well in general the angel appears as a as a solid object if you like uh, we can see him only charlie can see him but we can see him in in kind of just as the actor there are no kind of like glows around him he doesn't have a halo above him but there are a couple of occasions when we can see things moving for example roller skates we see him on roller skates when we're looking at him from charlie's perspective but then it cuts to uh, somebody else coming into the room who obviously can't see him and then all we can see is the roller skates moving and i thought it was very well done some nice effects there generally i think all of the right decisions were made with how they represented this angel and how they um portrayed him physically the narrative is pretty good. I really liked it. I had a lot of fun with it. And I won't say how it ends, but I'll say that I was left feeling satisfied with the entire film. From start to finish, I found it to be charming, delightful. It really delivered. Yes, as I said, I feel like Charlie maybe accepted things a little too quickly. But other than that, I thought it was uh, very engaging and definitely delivered. I have quite high expectations when it comes to films about angels visiting people on Earth. But this one generally didn't disappoint. If you're a fan of this kind of film, I definitely recommend you check it out. I'm pretty confident it's one that you'll really enjoy. <laughs>